Start recording. Okay, I'm gonna be making a video on how to download Flashpoint Core uh, and play it. Oh, Pop Tropical Islands. So I'm gonna be using this site, Pop Trop. And they have instructions too, but I'm gonna do it. Ka. It's like Pop Tropica. So now I'm going to search for Flashpoint 10.1 Infinity. And let's see here. Uh, we are going to download the recommended one. Uh, and I'll just create a new folder to do this. You press Control Shift N and then type Flashpoint 10.1 Infinity. And then save the executable file and open it up when it's done. And then um, if I want help on on, I can insert, go to Island Guides. Uh, go all the way down. Uh, let's see. Looking for, so say, Great Pumpkin Island Guide. Say I want to play this one. Um, I can uh, look up the Island Guide. So open it. And they have their own walkthrough, but I want to do this myself. So, I mean, uh, I just uh, want to do this. Okay. Uh, so we extract it. Let's see our extracting. Okay, it shouldn't take that long. You need 7-zip to do it. it. says process 991 megabits. Um, so the reason that Pop Tropica isn't working anymore is that they didn't uh, use HTML5. So basically, um, you go to here html5 fifth and current version of hypertext markup language um adobe flash player is no longer supported so you have to use an emulator for it um and it'll save your progress automatically like in this thing so if i want to back up the file i use something called backblaze that backs up stuff in my computer um so uh yeah, or you could use something like GitHub, but you can't upload um, with GitHub. There's a limit to how much uh, space you can commit. It's 100 megabytes. So, um, let's see here. Uh, and then let me go to Wikipedia. Uh, let's look at the Wikipedia page for Pop Tropica 2007 video game. Uh, fan archive is Slayer made 35 islands available once again via the Vasco browser with the Flashpoint program, so that's what I'm doing. Um, old island directory. Um, so there's also a guide here. Um, now why should you hear about Bob Travel Go? Well, it's kind of a fun way to unwrap stuff. Um, I mean, it's, uh, there are some parts about that I don't like, so I'm going to be focusing on the islands that I do like. Um, is this thing done extracting? Oh, yeah. it's a different emulator. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, this program that will find everything, so I'm going to search Flashpoint 10.1 Infinity. There it is. Then open this one, the extract one, and do uh, start Flashpoint. I can actually pin this to the start menu. Uh, pin, oh wait, is it already pinned to start? Well, unpin from start. And then, uh, and then pin to start. Pin to start, let's see. Uh, put this right here, so I can access it easy. I wonder if I can more, Change the icon symbol to uh, properties. Uh, 
system all right customize icon uh, we'll make it look like that okay okay so let me see did the icon change and pin from start uh pin to start no, i don't like that blank folder icon i'm trying to properties change icon there okay now unpin from start pin to start there you go uh is this it no that's an oh it's pinned at the top uh wait where'd it go is this pin to start Start flashpoint, pin to start. There we go. Uh, let me place it right, right there. Okay. And then uh, I will enable analytics so you can choose that. And then we can search for Pop Tropic here. Pop. Tropica uh, should come up. Here we go. Download. Downloading game. Wait for it to complete. Now, if, if this doesn't work, it's probably because there's something that's just different. But this is how, um, like maybe, uh, if you, for the computer, uh, um, like my system is uh, about sixty-four gigabits. I mean, sixty-four bit operating system. Um, okay, so now we have it. We don't see anything. This is where I got confused at one point. You have to go to fit. Uh, poptropica.com uh, slash base.php Now I'm going to get going with the ion. And I'll create a character real quick. Okay, I'm going to do new player. I'll just... Yeah, I don't want this on. Uh, my boy. I'm older than 15, but... Uh, um, skin color. Wait, that's fine. I don't like that hat. Just normal hair. Okay, there. Enter Bob Tropica. Alright, and then you can go play on it. So maybe I want to do, um, more islands. Here. Uh, Red Dragon. Magic Tree House Red Dragon. Um, and then you can start playing around. Now I'm going to close this and then reopen it. And um, just to show that uh, it saves your progress. Um, I think I can now export this data. Uh, yeah, so it's, I guess, in FPS software, you can export your data um, in case you lose it. So, for example, one way to save it would be to create a GitHub repository so I can do new. Uh, new Pop Tropica save data. Um, save data for Tropica. Um, create your repository. It's public. Okay. Uh, actually, wait, let me. I'm going to clone this. 
Uh, and then this will create a readme file. And now the changes will show up. Uh, uh, file uh, clone repository github.com pop tropica save data so um add file upload files I'm trying to hold on well I now have a readme um Here a branch. Uh, your repository. Move. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to reclone it. Bob, travel to save data. Oh, I guess I didn't delete it fully, so I'm going to go to documents. GitHub. Uh, I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to mm, top Africa clone to that receiving objects three out of three done okay fetch origin now I can um, Back up this data to the GitHub repository. I go to date modify GitHub date modify pop drop with save data file name uh, export data. Okay, I'm gonna go up to. Uh, Here it is. And save it. And now what I can do is I can make a comment, commit to main, push origin, and it'll show up on GitHub just in case. So now my pop travel data is saved on the internet um, in case I, um, and there we go. Okay, so that's the end of this video.